everyone, welcome to Busan. It's the second largest city in South Korea and we want to show you the highlights. Uh, we are going to be spending here three days. So join us to just enjoy this beautiful city. Our first pit stop is the Gamcheon village, which exists since 2012. This is our first highlight. We are here at the Gamcheon village. We came here like around 11.30 a.m. So it's a good hour, but we will recommend you just to come in the morning to have a better lighting to take photos. And also it might not be that crowded. So we just had a break and had some drinks and food because yeah, it's a lot of walking, but it's not so steep. It's just great if you take a break here, uh, go to a cafe or to, to a place where you can eat and just enjoy this uh, view. It's, it's so amazing. Um, the buildings are so colorful and actually a lot of people live here. So you will walk the tourist uh, street, but if you look left and right to it, there's actually a lot of buildings where people live. So it's, it's not an artificial village here. It's Now we're going to go down by using this stairway called Stairs to Sea Stars. Uh, it's called like this because a lot of people used to feel dizzy by going up and down the stairs because there are 148 stairs in total. So let's see how we feel after this. We saw some people without uh, breath or trying to catch their breath after reaching the top. Um, it should be easier going down, so let's see. Our next pit stop is the Yalgalchi market where you will find lots of seafood. So whatever you can imagine is here. Um, we already checked out some stands and they have from fish to oysters to octopus, so whatever you like. Um, and the first and second floor are the stands with the seafood and in the upper floors you will find the restaurants where you will actually be able to cook or ask them to cook whatever you bought here at the stand, so let's check it out. We are at the market, at the restaurant area, and we are about to eat uh, some mackerel. We decided to eat something that is cooked and not raw, just not to take any risk um, of getting food poisoning. Uh, so we just got the side dishes at the moment, and we're waiting for the grilled mackerel. All right, so there's another day in Busan, and today we're gonna take you to Oyuktu Skywalk. And this is an area where you can have a beautiful view about the city of Busan. And we're gonna take the bus there, it's gonna take about 45 minutes from the, from the downtown area. And see you guys there. Hi, we're at the Oriukto Skywalk. From here we have a great view from Busan, uh, the residential area and also uh, to the harbor. 
and also you can see all of the small islands that are surrounding the skywalk it's a pretty nice view just pure nature uh, super peaceful with the waves and the sound of the waves you can come here by bus it's super easy it takes about 45 minutes from the downtown area depending on where you're staying uh, it's super recommended to visit this place in the morning just to catch up the sunrise it's supposed to be one of the most beautiful places for you to enjoy the sunrise early in the morning you can also enjoy the views uh, by following a hiking trail you will need more or less two hours just going through the coast and enjoying the different paths and the sceneries of the coast We arrive at our next stop at the beach of Han Day. I hope it's correct. Yes. <laughs> I have some trouble still. It's a very nice uh, beach here. And uh, we have a really pleasant day of about 20 to 21 uh, degrees Celsius. But actually no one is inside the, the water. So um, we'll probably also just lay down and uh, relax, check out the temperature. Maybe I will go in. I'm not sure about Gabriela. As I know her for many years, I don't think so, but um, yeah, let's see. Very close to the beach, there's also this really famous uh, colorful cable car. I think it's called the Blue Line. Um, we decided not to go because we are on a long-term uh, travel and with around 26 euros for two person is a little bit expensive in our opinion. But if you would have been here just for a vacation, we would definitely check it out but in our opinion it's a little bit boring and you can also just walk and have the great scenery. Our last highlight for today is the Hedong Yongkungsa temple which is another Buddhist temple but this one is really cool because it's uh, near the water so it's on the coast on a cliff. If you want to come here you can either come by public transportation you can go with a bus from downtown it takes about one hour there's no metro station nearby or you can come here by taxi which is a little bit more expensive but just keep in mind when you arrive here at the bus station you need to walk additionally 10 to 15 minutes to go to the temple at the end of our trip in Busan we're gonna have uh, some traditional Korean barbecue we don't like pork so much, so we went to a place that only serves beef and we ordered around 300 grams of uh, beef. Most of them is uh, boneless and we have never experienced Korean barbecue before, so we were very curious about how it goes. We will link the name of the restaurant in the comments afterwards so that you can check it out. Uh, so right now we just got the side dishes.
really hope that you got a lot of insights from the city of Busan and you could see the highlights that we showed in this video. We think that three to four days is totally enough to see the beautiful city of Busan. If you have enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And we are here at the Busan International Ferry Terminal and we will be yeah, taking a cruise ship to Japan, to Osaka to be exact. And if you would also like this video, please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye.